You're watching the Wellness Hour, the leader in medical news and information. I'm Randy Alvarez. Today's topic, replacing missing teeth with mini dental implants. And according to my first guest, he says, no more dentures. Nobody should be wearing a loose fitting denture. With us, uh, we have Dr. Volk. Dr. Volk, welcome to the program. Thank you, Randy, very much. It's a pleasure to be here. Now, before we get into today's topic, and I know you brought some photos, uh, so we'll, we'll have time to, to look at those in a, in, in a few minutes. Right. For people that don't know your practice, uh, who's your typical patient and what are the different uh, services that you offer? Well, anybody could be the typical patient. Uh, for general dentistry, family dentistry, we see patients uh, ages three on up to the senior citizen. Um, and the services that we provide, we, we do tooth whitening. People want to have a great smile. You know, after all, one of the things that you first notice on a patient is going to either be their eyes or their teeth. So a smile is very, very powerful. It says a lot about you, and there's a lot of confidence with that. We also provide uh, cosmetic dentistry, uh, of course, to uh, reshape the teeth, uh, replace missing teeth. Uh, we will do fillings. We also provide gum therapy. Patients who come in, they'll have teeth that are loose, uh, gums that may be inflamed. Uh, patients who are concerned about bad breath because of their gums being inflamed. So we'll go ahead and take care of that and we can relieve all those symptoms, all those problems. And uh, we also provide TMJ therapy. Okay. Uh, patients coming in with headaches and they're having difficulty concentrating, just doing their own work like that. So we're able to provide therapy where they no longer have headaches. We also uh, make partial dentures, we do full dentures. Uh, and we also place implants, mini dental implants. You don't like dentures? I don't. You I'm, said no more dentures. No more dentures, no more dentures. Uh, the situation that we run into most of the time, only one out of four patients in the United States can eat with a lower denture. It's that bad. You don't get the suction like you do with the upper. And the, the problem that we run into with patients is they go without the lower denture because they can't eat. They can't eat with it. Is that right? Do you realize that 35 million people in the United States are missing most, if not all, of their teeth? And do you know what percentage of patients have implants? 1%. So, so the whole idea then is that denture wearers, they could come in and you attach them to mini dental implants. Right. Full arch of teeth, they could eat and chew. Is that right? Exactly. Yeah, so they'll come in and we'll place the mini dental implants. We'll attach the denture that day. They can eat that day. We can take patients who are missing one or multiple teeth, place implants, and put crowns on them. The implant is like an artificial root. Yeah, and there's very little of any, any discomfort. Now, uh, in your area, okay, you're in Dayton, Dayton Ohio, Ohio, right? Mm -hmm. Are there a lot of people wearing dentures, like an upper or lower? I would say yes. I mean, Ohio is going to be just like any other state. Uh, there's a arena close by, UD Arena, and you could fill that arena with the denture patients in Ohio, and within five years, you could probably multiply that by five. We're talking tens of thousands of people in the area are wearing dentures. And we could actually fill that stadium 10 times that number with people who are headed to dentures. So if dental implants are so good for these denture wearers or people headed to dentures, why aren't they all doing it? That's an excellent question, Randy. Uh, the main reason I think a lot of patients don't do, number one reason would be they're wearing dentures. They don't go back to the dentist anymore. They're done. Good point. Okay. The, teeth. the only time they're going to go to the denture or the dentist is if they're going to have a denture relined or they want to get a new denture, it's worn down. The second reason would be patients have had, uh, from the time they were 18 uh, on up, uh, they've been through experiences where they've had uh, a lot of pain, they've had difficulty with fillings, being sensitive to hot and cold, uh, unable to chew, they've had infections, abscesses, they've had to go through root canals. Uh, so they've had a lot of bad experiences with dentists, they spent a lot of money going to the dentist. So the last thing they want to do is go see you. The last thing they want to do is come in to see the dentist. Good yes. point. Do you yeah. still hear that, by the way? Where they say, doctor, no offense, I don't like the dentist. Oh, I hear that all the time. Really? Yeah, yeah. No offense to you, nothing personal, but I hate going to the dentist. Do you have a We're, comeback? Uh, no, I don't. I tell them I hear it all the time, I, but I also tell them I know I'm not on their bucket list. Uh, yeah. <laughs> right. Uh, the third reason that patients aren't coming in is because they feel they're too old. 
that they're beyond their prime, uh, that uh, they're dentally disabled, and there's nothing that can be done for them. How old can you be to get this done? Like a denture wearer, how, how old can they be in to get something that's fixed, a full arch of teeth in their mouth? Believe it or not, I've done patients in their 90s. So why would a 92-year-old want to do this? Well, they, they want to eat and chew just like you would want to eat and chew. They want to be okay. able to enjoy life still. They want to be able to taste their food, eat the foods they want to be able to eat that they haven't been able to for years. So statistically, they're not more likely to fall out if you're 92 years old? No, no. Really? No, they'll stay in just as well as if you were 18 years old. The patient that came in, uh, I had a couple that were in, in their 90s, and uh, she was missing a front tooth and she was embarrassed to be with her friends and uh, not able to smile. So it was a, it was a very reserved smile. And uh, we were able to place the implant in and the crown in less than an hour. And uh, it's neat because I don't get a lot of hugs when I do root canals, but when I <laughs> place implants or restore the teeth uh, with implants with dentures, I do get a lot of hugs, a lot of thank yous. I had another patient who came in in her 90s also, and she wasn't able to eat food, uh, and she was sick and tired of not being able to eat what she wanted to, and, and concerned about when she was talking that the denture was gonna fly out. Uh, so we were able to stabilize the denture, and now she can eat like everybody else. With her, what we did was place multiple implants and gave her a new full set of teeth. So now she's a woman that's able to eat whatever she wants, and she's confident that those teeth aren't gonna fall out. So when people are in their 70s and they say, I'm too old for dental implants. No, you can easily. Close. Really? Yeah, yeah, you easily can have it. Yeah, but isn't it true, though, that if you've been wearing a denture for 30 years, that you don't have enough bone to get this procedure done? Is no. that right? No. A, a lot of patients will go uh, to other dentists, and they may have been told, based upon that dentist experience, they don't have enough bone. But they'll come in to see us, and because the mini dental implant can be placed in a lot of places where the traditional can't be placed. They do indeed have enough bone for us to be able to stabilize and replace their missing teeth. So mini implants are not to be confused with traditional implants. Correct. You Correct. say mini implants can pretty much accomplish the same thing, in your yes. opinion. Oh, absolutely, yeah. The success rate is just as high, and uh, we're talking about a procedure. To me, it's the most awesome development in dentistry that I've seen in 35 years. It's incredible. And uh, we're able to uh, place the implants and restore the teeth, replace missing teeth in one visit. Is that right? Now, what if your gums are bad? If you have bad gums? If you have bad gums, it's, that's, that's not a problem. You can also place the implants in there. Uh, patients may come in and be told, well, yeah, I, I, my, my mouth isn't healthy enough to have implants placed or whatever. And that's not true because the implant is not dictated by the condition of your gum. It's how much bone do you have? If you have enough bone, you can easily place the implant. It doesn't matter what condition your gum is in. When we uh, have patients come in and they complain about their uh, gums being not healthy, usually it's because the teeth are still present. They may be diseased. There could be infection present. Once we take the teeth out, the health of the tissue responds dramatically because the infection's gone, the bacteria's gone. Okay. So we can place the implant and not have to worry about the condition of the, of the tissue because it's healthy. One of the things you say is people can walk in without teeth and on the day of the procedure, they can walk out a full arch of teeth that are fixed in their mouth that don't come out. Right, right. Does that happen? Oh, that happens all the time. Patients will come in and uh, on the day of the appointment when we place the implant in there, we're able to go ahead and restore the missing teeth, uh, put it on a crown or a bridge in there, uh, or uh, stabilize a full arch of teeth all in one visit. I had a patient come in, a young lady, anybody under my age is a young lady, okay. and uh, she had been wearing dentures for a period of about three or four years and was just tired of it. She just she couldn't eat, she was embarrassed she had to take the teeth out. We were able to place the implants in in one day and replace all of her missing teeth. And, and her statement to me was, are you sure you can do this in one day? I said, absolutely, I mean, we do it all the time. And she's confident now that she can uh, go wherever she wants and she's not concerned that the denture's gonna fly out when she's talking. Now what about pain? I mean, it does seem painful. 
It's really not a painful procedure. Uh, when you're involved with traditional implants, there's a lot of surgery involved. With a mini dental implant, all we do is pop them in, and then we can place the teeth over the implant the same day. Much, much easier to do. It's amazing. You know, pain is relative. Uh, everybody's going to experience pain differently. But I've had so many patients tell me when we're done with the procedure, that's it. That, okay. It's done. It, it, I can't believe it. And, and they'll tell me that, well, yeah, it was a little tender because you have to numb the tissue a little bit. There's no nerves in the bone. So we numb the gum like you would do for a filling, place the implant, and the patient said, well, it was a little tender that night. When they come in the next morning when we check them, they say, I feel great. I had a gentleman come in and he had been wearing dentures for quite a few years. We placed the implants, put new teeth in. Uh, he told me that night he ate steak for the first time in years. He can eat corn on the cob. He can eat apples. Right after you do it? Right after you do it, right after you do it. And I told him, uh, I'm not responsible for your weight gain as a result <laughs> of that. <laughs> because you literally can eat what you want to eat that you couldn't because of the denture. So they go in, I, I'm just trying to get the timeline here. Okay, obviously you have to meet them one or two times. But on the day of the procedure, they go in. Like if somebody goes in today with no teeth, they could walk out with a full arch of teeth and you're saying eat in the evening. Eat in the evening. Now if you would have told me- Do they have to me, be careful though? Uh, no, not really. Well, if you're still numb a little bit, yeah, you have to be careful that you don't bite your lip or your cheek. But if you would have told me that we would be able in dentistry to place implants and then put crowns or a bridge or a full arch of teeth in the jaw, 15 years ago, I would have said, there's no way. It's impossible, but we're doing it. We're doing it every day. Now, as far as oral sedation, you're big on that? Yes, yes, so patients will come in, and a lot of them have had bad experiences. I had bad experiences with the dentist when I was a child. I was a screamer when I was a child in the chair. Uh, so I can relate to when patients come in and they're terrified, but we provide oral sedation. And it's easy, to, you just take it by mouth, it's oral. So patients will come in and we'll do the procedure for them. They leave with their teeth in place. And I've actually had some patients tell me that they were upset later that evening because they thought they missed their appointment. They forgot all about it. <laughs> What, they called you and said, I'm sorry, I missed your appointment? Well, no, they asked their spouse. They said, oh. I, I, I'm supposed to be at Dr. Volk's office. We're supposed to get the procedures done. And the husband or wife will tell them, you've already been there. This is already done. You're done. Go look in the yeah. mirror. You have Go a look in the mirror. Ar yeah. of teeth. You, you got all your teeth present. Now, aside from eating and chewing, you say there's also something that happens as far as the smile. Yes. They start smiling more. Yes, I had uh, a patient who came in and he was very reserved and small. Nice looking guy, he uh, had a nice front teeth, but he was missing most of his back teeth. And he was very reserved in his smile, uh, but he was a social animal. I mean, he just loved being around people. And we went ahead and replaced his missing teeth with the implants and crowns and bridges. And now he calls himself the photo bomber because whenever he sees the camera in action, <laughs> he puts his face in there and has a big, gorgeous smile. He tells me I changed his life. It's, it's totally changed his life. Are there a lot of people that hate their smile? Oh, absolutely, there's a lot of people. And they're not really aware of what can be done. And maybe they think they're unique. They, they think they're the only one that's like that. What do they say that they on the consult? They say this Oh yeah, they'll work. tell me, I hear that a lot. They'll say, I bet you've never seen anybody as bad as this. And a lot of it is because they don't notice it in other people. Why? They see people who are smiling who have nice teeth. They have a gorgeous smile. But the people who aren't smiling, those are the people that have teeth just like what they have. Maybe they're decayed or broken down. Interesting. Maybe they're discolored. Or maybe so a lot of these miserable looking people may just be hiding their smile. Exactly, yeah. Okay. They're, they're very, very self-conscious. They don't have the confidence. And let's face it, uh, having a nice smile is very important. Uh, well, you're a dentist. Of course, yeah. you, you think a smile is important. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. It's, it's crucial. It's got to look good. But uh, patients, when they come in and they can see what we can do and see the transformation that takes place, it's incredible. Um, I have had patients tell me uh, they've come in and 
couldn't wear their dentures. Uh, they were embarrassed to go out. I, I had a young lady that I restored her teeth, put teeth back in, and she had been wearing dentures for years. And, and at the point when I finished and, and finished the treatment, about a week or so later, she came and told me, she said, you totally changed my life. She said, I have not been out on a date with my husband in years because I can't eat at, in the restaurant. And now she's able to do that. And she said, I totally changed her life as a result of that. She was so thankful she can go out with her husband. They can go eat at a restaurant. She doesn't have to take the teeth out and not be embarrassed. She can do eat whatever she wants now and not be self-conscious. Back to your statement, though, about being a dentist and a smile is important to me. Of course it is to me. That's what I do. But that's just fact. That's just the way it is. Uh, having a great smile is important to people. Uh, unfortunately, if you're not smiling, you compare that to somebody who is smiling, you may, you may think that person is in a bad mood. You may think that uh, he's not feeling well. Uh, and, and it's crucial with the uh, appearance of the smile that uh, it can affect self-confidence. It can affect you when you're on an interview at a job. I mean, it, even with politicians today, you know, with the politics and, and all that, it's important as a politician to have a great smile. The guys that smile seem to win the election. The guys that smile, yes. The guys that, ha Good that point. have the nice smile. Yeah, it shows that you're healthy. It may show that you have uh, the means to take care of yourself. Uh, it shows that you're confident. Uh, and, and it's just uh, a, a good a good acknowledgement that you are happy with who you are. Now you told me, we talked on the telephone, that a lot of people are discriminated against or prejudged just because they have bad teeth or, or a denture that's loose fitting and they don't smile. Right. Elaborate on right. that. Uh, Patients don't go in and uh, say, hey, let me have a denture. I'm tired of uh, my teeth normally. It, it can be a traumatic experience to have dentures placed because it's not part of you. It, it's a foreign object. Uh, and patients who are missing teeth, maybe they've had uh, bone loss disease or, or they've had gum disease and they've lost teeth as a result of that. And they're judged. They're prejudged based upon how they look as to... It can make, make you look poor. It I mean, you make could have you a, lot of, a lot of money, but right. know, teeth that are really bad, I mean, you make assumptions, I guess. Yeah, it make you look poor. It could also make you look, uh, maybe you're, you're not as intelligent as somebody else who has a great smile. You can prejudge people. I, I call them dental disabled because they are at, at a disadvantage when you compare them to somebody that has a great smile. So we're able to restore that. We're able to give that back to that person that is missing some teeth or maybe they're having dentures and they don't have the confidence. Okay, now you brought some photos. What yes, are we looking did. at over there? Well, this one that I'm gonna show you here, this is a patient who had been wearing a flipper. Flippers are terrible. Patients can't eat with them. You gotta take them out. Uh, if you wanna eat, if you wanna bite into some food. So with her? Oh. What'd you do? What we did, we went ahead and restored her two front teeth with mini dental implants, placed them the same day, and a total transformation. Total transformation. Very nice. Look at the difference in the before picture and the after picture. When you look at the yeah. eyes, when you look at the expression on their face, and you compare it to the after. It's a total transformation. She looks younger. She looks younger. That's right. Yeah, you got a patient who maybe is not as confident. You got a patient who is, doesn't feel quite happy with her appearance, and now you got a patient who's beaming with a smile. Huge difference. Now these mini implants, how long can they last, by the way? Oh, they can be in there for 20, 30 years evenly. Potentially, okay. just like a traditional implant, they could be in there for the rest of your life. Here's another patient. We have a patient who was wearing dentures for a couple years, and again, she's sick and tired of having to take them in and out. Uh, they don't fit well, she can't chew with them. Uh, she doesn't feel confident speaking. She's self-conscious because they're, they don't fit well. So here's what we did for her. We were able to, she had the option we could do dentures. That was out of the question. Uh, we also had an option we could put implants in and they could be removable dentures. They would still snap in. She could eat whatever she wanted to. Uh, she uh, would feel confident that they wouldn't come out when she's eating or when she's talking. She wanted teeth that were gonna be cemented in place. 
So take a look at the after picture there. And again, the transformation <laughs> yeah. between the before and after. Again, you can see it in the eyes, you can see it in the facial expression, the air about them. And what I hear a lot of times is, thank you, Dr. Volk, for what you did. Uh, they are just ecstatic over the transformation that they've achieved. They, they feel like everybody else now in terms of being confident with their teeth. So this is a full arch of teeth, upper and lower. Full arch of teeth, upper and lower. They don't come in and out. They do not come in so and out. So could she eat like uh, raw broccoli? Or could she yeah. eat salads? She could eat whatever she wants. Really? Yeah, so all those foods that she has to have uh, put onto the side because she couldn't chew with them with the denture, now she can eat those uh, with these fixed teeth. They don't come out. When we place the teeth in there, we hand her the mirror, and we're all watching her as she looks at her teeth for the first time, her permanent set of teeth, and it's breathtaking because she's beaming, she's excited, she's smiling, she's giggling, she's happy. The staff and I are, we're just have chills go down our spine each time we do this. Good. Because we love seeing what this does for a person. It's great. Seriously, nobody, in your opinion, should be wearing a denture no. in Dayton. No. no. They should all be attached to something. They should be attached to something. But, yes. I, know, but I know denture wearers, right? Yes. They never complain. Are you saying there's no such thing as a happy denture wearer? Yeah, that's because you're not a dentist. So they're going to come okay. in and they're going to talk to me and they're going to tell me all the things that they have had to go through, that they can't eat in public, they can't eat when they're with their friends. They're concerned about the dentures moving around. Uh, maybe they have just assumed that nothing else could be done. You think they just adapt? Them. They adapt, yes. So they think they're fine, but they don't know how good it could be. Absolutely. If I took patients and I would allow them to try implants in with full set of teeth. Like a test drive. Like a test drive. And if they were to do that for a week, there's no way they would go back to wearing a denture. They would fight over me trying to take those implants <laughs> back out. It's that much of a dramatic change. So you brought some models. Now you say you show these to patients. Yes, we so do. So what are we looking at? This is an upper denture and we're able to place implants in six implants. Notice the beauty of this, for denture wearers, they're gonna recognize as an upper denture, something's missing. The palate is gone, the roof of the mouth covering is gone. So now we're able to seat an upper denture without the palate, the roof of the mouth being covered. It's gonna feel more natural, you're gonna taste food again. And they snap in. You see this. Is this accurate how it, how it could be? Oh yes, absolutely. So this absolutely. is a snap in, snap it out. It snaps in, snaps out. Now we could also do it where it's fixed, where it doesn't come out. That, I mean, that's what people must want, right? Most, most of the patients want I mean, You don't want, want something that comes in and out. No, no. Most of the patients want something that's fixed. Uh, and patients, you know, they can do that. It's gonna cost a little bit more. To get a fixed set. To get a okay. fixed set, right. Now, it, we should mention, insurance, does not cover the whole procedure, does not cover these procedures. Medicare, Medicaid in the U.S. does not cover this. Correct, Okay. correct. But most of the insurance plans will cover a portion of that. Okay. And we also provide uh, outsource for uh, third-party payment so patients can apply for credit. If their credit's good, they can get so financing. They can get financing, okay. correct. Okay, correct. now I interrupted you. Okay, so you got the snap in, snap this out. This is a lower denture. So again, like the upper denture, it's gonna be stabilized with four implants on the bottom. You usually will use six on top, but normally four or five on the lower. And again, the denture's gonna be stabilized. And so it comes out still. But again, we can put a full set of teeth in where the patient doesn't have to take them out anymore. And again, it costs and a how do they more. how do they take care of those? Uh, so if they get a full arch of the upper and lower, what's the maintenance? The maintenance is very simple. If it's a fixed bridge like that, uh, we'll give them a water pick. You just run the water pick around the edges of the fixed bridge and it flushes out any debris that may be accumulating there. Very, very simple, that's it. And we'll check them. About and they it. brush them. You can brush them, yeah. Okay. But we'll check them every six months just to be sure everything's okay. So they go checkups just like, uh, like they had their own teeth. Absolutely, yeah. So they'll go in and they'll see uh, uh, us every six months. We may clean around the implants, just check for sure everything is doing fine, and then they're, they're on their way. So it's a very quick visit. Now your office, uh, and correct me if I'm wrong, that how it's typically done is you go to one person, that, the surgeon that does the, puts the implants in, and then the, another dentist that puts the teeth on top. You do both parts. Right, so when the patient comes in, 
We go ahead and take the x-ray. We talk about what they want to have done, what is their goal. We'll go ahead and design the implants, and I place the implant myself. I stabilize a denture or replace the missing teeth with a fixed bridge or a fixed crown. And they don't have to be outsourced to different dentists. And a lot of patients like that. Patients, when they come in, they'll often ask me, are you going to do the extraction? Are you going to place the implant? Are you going to do the crown? And the crowns we're able to do with the technology today, we can do it in one day. So as compared to uh, the older way of doing it, where the tooth is prepared for a crown and a temporary is placed on it, we can actually go ahead and place the permanent crown the same day. Now we're short on time, but this is a lot less expensive than the traditional implants. Absolutely. Are they just as good? I mean, I mean, do you believe they're just as good? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, the success rate is just as high. The longevity is just as good for okay. a traditional implant. And I had a patient once who called and he wanted to know if I could replace and cement a fixed upper and lower bridge for less than $100,000. Okay. And I told him I could do it for much less. So 99000 is probably what you quoted him, right? <laughs> no, no, I didn't quote him 99000 But I could have restored all of the family members uh, for that for person. For that kind of money. For that kind of money. So it's yeah. more than half off of traditional implants, you said. It's absolutely more than half off than traditional implants. Can you make them look real, by the way? Because I feel like I could spot dentures walking down the street. Oh, yes. Uh, and that's the beauty of it. We can set those teeth up and have the patient... Uh, be incredibly awed by how realistic they look. You can't, you can't tell. I don't want a patient walking out and around and somebody walking up to them and saying, nice crown or nice denture. I want them to say, well, you got a gorgeous smile. And, and that's what they're excited about. Okay, good, we're, we're out of time. I wanna thank you for coming on the show. Final message to the two groups you've talked about. Okay, so they're either wearing dentures or they're headed to dentures, bad teeth. Yes. And maybe they're still skeptical after yes. watching this. What do you say to them? You don't have to put up with that anymore. You can have confidence. You can have the teeth replaced, not have to worry about it. You can be able to eat whatever you want and, and not have to worry about loose fitting dentures or heading towards dentures. They can be permanent. They're your teeth. Good. They're permanent. All right. I want to thank you for coming to the show. Very, very thank interesting. Thank you very much. And it's a free consultation. It's a free consultation. Okay, good. Yes. You're watching the Wellness Hour, the leader in medical news and information. I'm Randy Alvarez. For now, I wish you good health. Thanks for watching the Wellness Hour, the leader in medical news with your host, Randy Alvarez, the authority on health issues.